Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're gonna be practicing for our tournament. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. If you have, please hit the like button on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell and share this video with a friend. I'd really appreciate it. And if you guys could, drop your feedback down below on the tournament prep uh, tournament videos. If you guys have been enjoying them, if you guys have been liking them. Today, I'm pretty much gonna be frog fishing the whole time. Um, I got Alan Bob with me. He's actually parking the truck right now. And uh, we're gonna be going out and just preparing for this tournament. We're only gonna be hitting new spots today. So we're gonna go around, travel to new areas, and that's the game plan. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. Like I said, drop a comment down below on what you wanna see. Let's hop into it. So Bob, the practice day. <laughs> already starting i know practice day is right now guys uh we got a tournament me and bob had not fished a tournament and over what four years? bro yeah it's, it's probably been like four years hasn't it? so today what i'm gonna do i don't know if i'm gonna do this in the tournament tomorrow but i think i'm only gonna fish with a frog today uh you know i've been addicted to frog fishing uh, i've been having so much fun with it and i was like today i want to go out and catch them on a frog tomorrow i'll probably be doing the same thing and but the thing with today is we're going to be hitting spots that we've never hit before we're not going to go hit the stuff that we already know that there's going to be fish on um so we're going to hit all new spots i'm going to be throwing a good bit of top water just to see what we can do today i'm going to be tossing this frog around a lot alan's going to throw a little bit of whatever i just want him to kind of get comfortable with everything because we haven't got to go fishing too much he peacock fishes a lot so he doesn't get the bass fish a ton so i just want whatever alan wants to throw and do you know let Alan do Alan things, but I'm gonna freaking play with a frog today. If you guys are new to the channel, by the way, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get today's video started. Let's see if we can get some frog fish. It's always some fun. First things first, I bought this frog and it's sinking on me, so I might. I might need to replace this. So y'all, we're gonna change up this frog right here. So this is the one that I've been, the one that I've been using is a little different than this color, but this is the one I put on recently. Um, as you can tell by this frog right here, they're both popping frogs, but this one's gonna be more dominant of a pop. This one's a little subtle. I've actually never used this frog before, but the difference between these two that I wanna try out today, which I think is very important, especially on this river, is the size difference. It doesn't look that different when you're when you're looking at it, but I will tell you, some of these fish just tend to miss this frog a lot. And when you get a frog bite, you wanna land the fish. So I kinda of wanna try this more of a smaller frog today and just see what happens. I'm gonna throw this around a little bit. If they're not eating it, I'll put on a regular popping frog. But yeah, I do wanna experiment with that because I had a lot of problems with just hookup ratio on the frog and i don't want to lose any of those fish tomorrow so we're, we're going to test out this small frog and see if uh see if they'll like it and more importantly just see if it pops well tie this on with the standard uni knot and we're putting this on my mach 2 with the mock smash you know that's my little christmas combo but if you guys do want to check out any of the green rods on my deck the kicking their bass x lose combos which are all right there you guys can check them out on my website kickingtheirbass.com my uh braided kicking combo is actually backlash right now or it's got a knot in it so i'm not using that today but we're gonna get her all ready for tomorrow but if you do want to check out the kicking rods they're only available on my website okay this frog's a lot lighter okay look at that pop though all right the pop is not as dominant as the regular popping frog and also like the light it's just so light but i think it's gonna do the trick guys we're gonna play around with this alan bob's throwing a fluke fluke's been a fun killer bait but i guess we'll see yeah it's like this the the splash of it is like yeah. what what is it is that a turtle uh, it's, oh, behind it's behind me behind what is it it's a bass it's a, it's a, it's a gun. Gun. <laughs> he's gonna dude all right, okay i'm sorry bob there is no way that that boil was that little gar <laughs> guys that was a alligator boil or something i don't know what that was golly Alan. 
nice one. He came off. That was a what? Like a two and a half, three pounder? Wow. Yeah, no, I felt him when he ate it. It felt like a good one. All right. I didn't hear him hit it, though. Yeah, he kind of sucked it down. That was a big one, guys. That was like, that's, <laughs> that is definitely a fish you want to catch in the tournament. We are going to move spots. That, that was a good fish. <laughs> I don't want to hook another one of those on this spot. Did you watch him eat it? Yeah, yeah. You went with your eyes, didn't you? <laughs> I'm retiring this frog this quick, guys. I One, I lost that fish, which I don't know if it's because of the hooks, but I just can't cast this how I would like to. I think it's more beneficial to throw the big one if I can get it in better spots. That's just the truth of it. I'm gonna put a regular frog on. All right, guys, this is the frog that I'm going with. Yeah, it's got a yellow bottom, green top, basic frog. Hopefully this one floats. I've, I've bought so many and I throw them and they sink instantly. <laughs> oh, dude, look at that big one sitting in the current break. Are you just sitting in the current? Look. Look. Uh-oh. Here he comes. Dun, 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 <laughs> Gar, so weird. I'm never... That was the best. Bro, okay, I gotta, I don't, huh. hmm. I hook set with a frog and he just comes out of the water instantly. And I freaking lose him every time like that. Like my line goes slack and then I end up knotting my line half the time that happens. It's so annoying. I gotta fix, I gotta work on that somehow. I'm gonna figure it out today. <gasps> That's a mudfish, bro. Should I do it? Oh, look at him turn away. That was so cool. I've never seen a mud do that. Wow. as a bass or not. got a dangle fish in on a frog guys <laughs> yo nothing big but he just ate the frog as a dangle oh my gosh i i threw it up there i was just like i say that every time like oh a little dangle bass and it happened this time it's probably been two years since i've got a dangle bass guys that is freaking sweet <laughs> i've said that so many times in so many videos over the last couple years too finally happened of course that's the one fish that i somehow like stay i kept pinned those other ones i lost somehow <laughs> oh i was about to say i don't know how you haven't caught one nice bob bob with his first bass Look at the guard chasing after it. You see that? Nice, Bobby. <laughs> Did you? Well, Alan Bob with the Alan Bob Geech bass. Fish. Geech bass. It's been a while. On the fluky scoopy. On the scooper. Scoopy skipper fluker. Okay, Bob. We're both on board now. Alan and Bob both got us a fishy. No big ones yet. I don't know. We did see that first bite. The first one was a good one. right before you ate it i was about to say dude i can't believe you haven't got bit and then all of a sudden i saw oh gosh that's a big one what that's one that you want in a tournament dude of course i caught it right here yeah two and a half pounder <laughs> that was a two pounder on a froggy you know what's crazy was it gonna be a dangle dude Literally. Yeah. That's a pretty fish right there. That's that's a good one on a frog that we would definitely want. See, this is... 
the problem I have, like, we haven't fished any of this stuff ever before, guys, so we're kind of going in the dark. But the problem I have is, like, I don't want to catch the heck out of them. But at the same time, I want to cover these stretches and figure out where we're catching these fish at. Trolling motor's doing it again, Bob. We're gonna go down this bank a little bit more. I'd say if we catch another good one like that, we might just leave this alone and kind of just go find some new spots. But that was two fish, Bob. We, I mean, he hasn't even rigged his fluke back up and I caught one on this frog. So that's, that's the type of spots we're looking for is the ones that you pull up and you get a couple bites like that. Boom, boom. You know, there's a good bit of fish stacked in the same area. That's the spots you really want to find. Um, those fish aren't going to bite tomorrow, sadly, but that doesn't mean that another group of them um won't pull up and like i said we're just we're trying new spots we're trying to figure this whole thing out yeah it does yeah we'll hit this oh. <laughs> this is a tiny one well i guess there's a fish on that i don't even know if we should hit that now I mean, that was the first cast on that spot. Yeah. He's leaving. Oh. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. We're not fishing this spot. Yeah. <laughs> we just tried this, guys. We were like, oh, let's go over here. And then me and Alan both catch one. Not, nothing good. big, but I mean, <laughs> there's fish there. The All right, yeah, well, we're gonna go ahead and go to a different spot, guys. I was gonna fish this bank out, but <laughs> when you pull up to it like that and get two fish, it's, I don't think it's worth even sword lipping them. I guess there are fish in here. Small one. Some small ones eating the frog today, guys. I don't like it, but at least we're catching fish on the frog. At least I know I can catch a limit on a frog, like even the smaller ones that eat it. And since the beginning, you know, we lost this few. We haven't lost one ever since. It's been pretty good. This little fat guy. Keep it up. I think when you get bit on that, you get a decent one. I don't really throw in a chai reed much out here. Only when the river's low like this and you fish the main river. Oh, oh it is! Oh, dude, that's a big one. Oh, dude, that is, a, that is a nice one. Dude, it just came out of my mouth. Oh, gosh, Bob. You got him? You good, buddy? Dude, that's a three plus, ain't it? Get him up here, buddy. Oh my gosh! Oh, he almost went off. Good job, bro. Hey, you supposed, oh, to, you supposed to catch that one tomorrow, Bob. Bro, I'm sorry. I wanted to see that. Yes, bro. Hey, you, hey, you got confidence with the chatter donk, though. Bro, the, the crazy thing, I just said that, too. I was like, you get a bite yeah. on that, it's going to be a big one. Sure enough, you just freaking smoke a almost three-pounder. Good job, good, Bob. Bro. That's a nice one. Is a nice little release on it. That's a good one, dude. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Yeah. That's what we need. If we can get five of them tomorrow, dude, or maybe four of them and like a a kicker, yeah. it'd be sitting pretty. We just pulled up to the spot too, guys. The new spots have been paying off. It's stuff I've like always looked at, but I just haven't really came and fished it. And uh uh, we're fishing. I think if Bob throws the chatter donk and I throw this frog, I I don't know. That's a deadly combo. That's like two big fish like killers right there. And honestly, we've caught small ones on the frog, so that might be something that we just do. We just stick to. We we stick with these two big fish baits and we just cover water and go. That's a big and don't don't throw in there. Don't, don't even throw anymore. That was a freaking like four pounder. You saw, saw his body? Yeah, that was like a four pounder. <laughs> Should we even fish this? You get a little bit further? Alright, that was a that was a fit like that could have been big fish in the tournament right there, potentially. That's the bites that we want. Right there, like this is the banks and stuff that we want to find is stuff that you know Bob just caught one that was about almost three pounds. And then you have one that's like four pound swirl on a frog. Like that's the type of banks you want to find. There's some big ones stacked up. There's no telling that those fish would be there. Oh, 
Yeah, you gotta leave. There's no telling that, that uh, these fish would be here tomorrow. This one, I'm not catching, which I'm glad it's a small one. You know, <laughs> it is nice to catch some, you know, good fish in a video, guys, but today I'm not really looking for that. I'm just looking for, for spots, really. But that's, that's a nice fish. Thing is that big? I think it's like a two pounder. Right? That's a decent one. Pound and a half. Yeah, he was right on where you would think he would be. You know. That's a good one, guys. That's freaking very fat one. It's a keeper. Right? Oh yeah, easy, easy keeper. I thought man, that's just an easy pound and a half. Not bad. One. Well, I haven't really had a problem, guys, since the beginning keeping these fish pinned. I mean, it's been pretty, pretty solid. Those first couple bites I got, I lost them. But other than that, I've, I've been landing all these fish. Everyone that commits. You know how that big one that we were, it looked like it was about four pounds. Blow up on it, but he didn't have it all the way. I just didn't even want to throw back in there on that right now. And for everybody watching that's like, why are you guys not wanting to throw back in there? Why are you guys not wanting to catch those fish? We got our tournament. You don't want to like sit there and just hook set on every bite you get in practice. Because I'll tell you, that four pounder right there, I don't care enough to catch it right now if there's a possible chance that I could catch it tomorrow. You know what I mean? And I don't know really how that works with this river because the river goes up and down. These fish always move. So there's no guarantee that that fish is going to be there tomorrow. More than likely, he probably isn't. But... I'd rather not sore lip him. I'd feel a little better about it if I didn't. So that's the reason we're doing that. Just trying not to catch all the fish before tournament day. I mean, dude. Okay, like that. That means move spot. Move spot. That's another freaking good one. Fatty. Fatty, fatty. They're cranking this frog, guys. If we were filming a normal video today, we'd be freaking yeah. going crazy. But that's a good fish, too. Another yeah. pound and a half here. It's so crazy because you could throw it stuff like that. What was that, a gar? <laughs> it's crazy because you could throw it like trees that are way off the bank like that, the frog, and they'll just they'll smoke it. All right, guys. Time to move spots. what you want right there not decent one like pound and a half he's fighting good isn't he yeah he's fighting good he's a pound and a half i think yeah he's a fat one look at that yeah he's a fat guy nice dude building your confidence on the the chatter dog yeah that is a good one a little bit of fish nice bob Y'all, we are closing off our, our little practice day. Um, very satisfied with it. You know, when it comes to practicing and coming out here and trying to prepare for a tournament, you, you don't want to go whack those fish. You know, you don't want to go put a put the slay session on them. You, you want to figure out things. You catch a few here and there. I really wanted Bob to catch a few too because he hasn't been bass fishing a ton. I want him to just be confident with it and, and feel confident with the baits that he's throwing. So I'm glad he ended up catching two on that chatter donk. Um, the game plan tomorrow is definitely going to be, you know, chatter donk frog whole day. 
and we're not going you know if you guys have watched some of the previous tournament videos if you haven't go check them out but you know we tend to go down river and it just hasn't been working for us so now we're gonna go with a whole different game plan try to go for five big bites the whole day and uh, just see what we can do but I hope you guys enjoyed this one if you enjoyed the tournament practice videos plus tournament videos hit the like button if you guys are new to the channel hit the subscribe button share this video with a friend I love you guys so much and I'll catch you all in the next video